And we're back at the Toy Lounge, and in this review, we're looking at the Jazzwares Fortnite Solo Mode Raptor. And we'll take a quick look at the card art. We have a nice image of the figure inside there. A nice representation of what you get in the game. I'm not liking those eyes too much. I did go through all the figures on the shelf and they all seem to have the same eyes so I don't think I'm going to like those a bit too googly looking for me maybe that's just me you get another base plate or a stand for the figure solo mode image on the back all the figures in the wave it says what well, it looks like is a Royal Air Force test pilot that's the figure inside the package let's get this thing opened up and here we have Raptor outside of his package and I must say where Leonard core figures lack in paint detail these guys definitely don't they have detail all around much more articulation of course and definitely on par with modern day G.I. Joes Marvel Universe figures and even larger scale action figures like Marvel Legends they have all the articulation you could ask for and a great representation of what you get in the video game let's take a look closely we have the base that connects to all the other bases and I'll show you guys that a bit later on accessory wise he comes with this pick or pickaxe nice silver paint there and yeah that's about it in terms of accessories now on to Raptor himself definitely reminds me of a beachhead figure being the same scale as G.I. Joe's of course and I'll have some comparison shots later on let's have a closer look at that face or the eyes should I say yeah definitely not feeling it with the eyes and the paint isn't as great either I did go through uh, as I mentioned before all the Raptors on the shelf and they all seem to have the same issue with the eyes the paintwork on the eyes isn't as great nice detailed headset with a mic which is non-removable I thought it may be removable at first but it isn't it's molded onto the head with some nice silver paint yeah 
yeah, overall the paint, I am, I think, nitpicking on the eyes, but overall the paint on the figure is done exceptionally well. It's a nice uh, pilot logo. So it does look like he seems to be wearing that pilot, Air Force pilot jacket. I think and I can remember a jacket like this used in uh, the movie Top Gun and in other movies. And the uh, paint on the straps done in a black with the uh, nice silver paint on the buckles. The paint on the straps goes all the way to the back, of course. Some nice detail on the uh, the collar of the jacket. Nice woolen effect. Nice detail on the shotgun shells that go across his chest with the red and the gold paint even the detail on the zipper on the jacket done really well his legs are molded in a blue plastic with the straps painted black and also the knee pads oh, I should say the knee pads are actually black plastic they're a separate piece nice uh, paint detail on the lace of the boots Very bright yellow gloves, which match the uh, the mask or the balaclava that Raptor is wearing. The color on the balaclava on the neck is slightly darker. I don't know if you can tell, but it's. Uh, that's actually attached to, to the uh, the torso piece separate to the head but they've matched it up pretty well there the balaclava blends in well from the uh, head to the neck even though it's a separate piece that's done really well Two stripes, I'm not familiar with the uh, ranking, I think that's a uh, corporal maybe, I'm not sure. Grenades, bright greenish glowy coloured grenades, they're just moulded in that green plastic. Yeah overall, very nice. Very nice representation from the uh, video game, and being a character that that's masked, I guess you can army build these guys if you wish. Use your imagination. Again, I'll echo what I've said in the past. I don't play the game, but these guys fit really well with your GI Joes or any other four inch line as for the articulation the head does rotate it is hindered by the uh, the collar of the jacket 
and you do have that uh, neck pivot as well which helps his head go forward like so it is a bit tight at first but once you get it going so you can look down a fair bit I do like that joint on the head and neck the shoulders are very tight but they do go out to there they will rotate but they won't point upwards all the way because they are hindered by the uh, the torso PC on the shoulder which uh, are molded a bit wider you have that rotation on the elbow bends at the elbow not quite 90 degrees but it it's uh, sufficient I think you also have the rotating wrist and also bends forwards and back at the wrist the mid torso goes forward and up and rotates as well the waist rotates as well full 360 you can do the splits which is good legs go out about there double jointed knees get the knee bending about that far and rotates at the ankles and also back and forth on the ankles as well did I miss anything? yes I did miss one more thing he does have the uh, swivel cut or the upper thigh cut as well right there do you need more articulation for a 4 inch figure? I think not I'm happy with that I don't think you'd require any more than that the fact that they have the uh, cut on the mid torso and the swivel on the hip um, they've probably gone that extra mile I wouldn't be too fussed if they just had one of those but they've got both so really can't complain in terms of articulation weapon fits in his hand like so and uh, I'm sure you can fit lots of uh, other weapons in this scale like from G.I. Joe or Star Wars or whatever you like I'm sure they'd fit quite well and as for the bases we'll just fit them all like let's do something different we'll do it let's see if we can do it this way there we go 
have a nice L shape. Put him like so. We'll place technique right there, maybe. Grab a hood or a hoodie. Raptor's falling. We'll fix that up. Bandelier. Let's see if we can get him standing up. Raptor's about to strike Bandelier with his axe. So yeah, you can imagine how you'd connect all these guys together in uh, other waves. as you go along and have a nice display of all your Fortnite figures on a shelf the options are limitless and here's Raptor with some other figures in the same scale you've got the uh, Leonard Core figure and a modern day G.I. Joe so scaling quite well and when I feel the when you actually play with the modern day GI Joes you'd think they're from the same line he uh, although he actually has more articulation than the GI Joe well this GI Joe anyway in particular this one doesn't have the uh, waist swivel so more articulation there, even though this is a bit of an older modern day Joe from the first movie. So yeah, there's how he measures up with uh, other figures on the scale. And because I can, he's Raptor on a Raptor. Why not? <laughs> so fits in pretty well with the Leonard core dinosaurs overall really happy with this line I uh, there's a lot more figures I'm, I am yet to get and I will continue collecting these guys something different I'm very happy that Jazzwares is making this scale of figures in this great detail they have announced that they're making more of these at the recent uh, New York Toy Fair but I don't believe they've yet to show anything in this scale yet so I'm hoping to th see those things soon but yeah stick around guys I am going to be reviewing more of these big fan of them and thanks for watching let me know what you think and I'll see you next time